What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk to you about the top five most heavily shorted stocks in the market as of right now. So I want to go over all the things that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off with stock number five, you do have a new one to the list. And that is ticker AGBA. On Friday, did go up 3.27% over the last one year. It is up 436.79%. And so far in 2024, it is up a astonishing 530.21%. So I think that's very deserving of a round of applause. But starting off, this is the company profile. So feel free to pause it, read through it. So diversified financial services, 176 employees based out of Hong Kong. But Right now, 56.63% of their free float is being shorted. Works out to be 2.75 mil um, overall being shorted and around 99,000 shares was increased on Friday. Cost to borrow average is 27.18. Utilization is 65.26 uh, and then short score is 81.6. Through IBKR does indicate around 150,000 shares is available to be shorted. So this one is definitely a must add to your watch list. And beside the point though, the market is very optimistic a lot of good data showing that the economy is relatively strong and so in theory you would assume that the market is going to continue to propel higher and a lot of companies uh, or entities that are shorting will have to kind of cut their losses and mitigate some of their risk and usually it's kind of in their heavily shorted stocks that's where they're going to be cutting so even more reason to add these uh, top five to your watch list so again this is stock number five moving over to stock number four a very popular retail stock and that is bolero corp tickers b-o-w-l friday did go up to uh, 5.01 percent over the last one year, it is up 16.25, and in 2024, it is down 15.61. Like I said, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know what this company does, but this is it. So feel free again to pause it and read through it. But 58.11% of the free flow is being shorted. Works out to be 11.37 mil. 88,000 shares were increased on Friday. Short score, 89.79. So again, the higher the number, the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening. Cost of borrow average is 12.81%. And just want to draw your attention. So shares on loan, 8.32 million versus 11.37 million. So a very clear indication that there is a naked shorting happening with this company. But uh, of course, SEC won't really do much all about that. But Shorts generally have been returning quite a lot um, over the last little bit. So it looks like it peaked at roughly the 90s in February. So that's what the percentage was. So yeah, shorts have been slowly returning. Of course, like I said, over the last one year, it is up 16 or whatever it was percent. So this is one to add to your watch list. Through IBKR, it does indicate around 100,000 shares is available to be shorted. Moving on to stock number three, that is ticker TSAT. This one was on the list last week week on Friday it did go down 1.45% over the last one year up 6.67 and in 2024 up 30% and since my last video which was last week of course this stock didn't squeeze but it did go up uh, slightly so 0.44% but this is what they do feel free again to pause it it is based out of Ottawa in Canada alternative carriers 490 employees but 62.99 percent of the free flow is being shorted works out to be 276.92 thousand shares on friday shorts increased a small amount so around 2,000 shares cost of borrow average 6.37 and then short score is 75.28 and uh, again through ibkr around 200,000 shares is available to be shorted so Add this one to your watch list as well while you're at it. Stock number two is a very popular retail stock again, and that is B. Riley Financial. Friday did go down 3.56% over the last one year, down 87.49, and in 2024, down 76.8. This is what they do. So company profile, uh, investment banking brokerage based out of good old L.A., but 63.9% of the free flow is being shorted. Works out to be 10.15 million shares overall are being shorted. 
on Friday, shorts returned around 21,000 shares. Cost of borrow average is 107.99. Utilization, 100%. Short score is 85.16. And just once again, drawing your attention to this, there's a lot of good information up here that I don't necessarily go over, but still there is a clear indication of naked shorting with this stock right here. And so you can kind of see shorts generally have been returning quite a lot. Uh, it looks like it peaked around 90%, and that was in August. August. So yeah, it's definitely something to maybe add to your watch list. Again, there could be a lot of just bigger entities mitigating risk. Uh, so cutting uh, short positions with uh, B. Riley Financial, many other ones as well through IBKR does indicate around 150,000 shares is available to be shorted. And finally, your number one most heavily shorted stock has been on this list for a while now kind of been holding the range but that is right here so west rock tickers west did go down 3.17 percent on friday over the last one year down 33.22 and in 2024 down 41.72 so this one hasn't uh, been catching the best of breaks but this is what they do uh, so packaged foods and meats 1400 employees based out of little rock i actually did a full dedicated video all about this stock under my other channel i believe it was uh, for squeezes and stuff like that because at the time it kind of pointed to just a, a quick breakout based on the technicals and whatever else but the most heavily shorted stock in the market is sitting at 70.1% of the free float being shorted. That works out to be 5.86 million shares. Friday shorts did increase around 38,000 shares, rounding up slight tad, but cost of our average 6.28. Short score is 84.92. And kind of with the other stocks, shorts have been returning a little bit. So it peaked at around 72% in September, tail end of September. But uh, yeah, something to, again, keep in mind, just shorts have been lingering with this stock for a very long time. So let me know your thoughts on these top five stocks. Is there any other stocks that you feel is a squeeze? If so, drop the tickers in the description below. Um, I will always greatly appreciate that. But aside from that, uh, what is your guys' thoughts on the broader market as well? Like I said, I think just the sentiment is very positive for stocks to kind of continue to move up fear and greed index is under the greed category so yeah everything is so far playing out fairly well and the market is so far very strong uh, based on the data points of course so let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo it does give you five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars as well i did just launch my memberships for this channel so take a look at that i'll put that in the description below so i, I greatly appreciate if you do like my content support the channel and uh yeah the link is going to be in the description below for that as well so with all that said appreciate all of you guys watching